The electric truck push of the past few years has felt a lot like companies trying to convince each other that the world needs an electric pickup. From startups like Rivian and Bollinger to established players like Tesla and GM, and yes, Tesla is an established company at this point. An electric vehicle with a bed is the future, right? Well, it is now, thanks to the F-150 Lightning. I'm Robert from Baldwin, this is Roll, and this is the all-electric Ford F-150 Lightning, the automaker's biggest play into the world of EVs. Sure, the Mach-E was first, and frankly, it's a wonderful vehicle, but the F-150 isn't just iconic, it's been the number one selling vehicle in America for over 30 years. It's been the number one selling truck for 44 years. From contractors to landscapers to large company fleets and folks who just want a fancy pickup, the F-150 covers all of the bases and now it's expanded to the world of EVs. And it's doing so in a way that should terrify Tesla. While Elon is manipulating Bitcoin and Dogecoin and Dogecoin, whatever, with, with a few tweets, Ford just dropped an electric truck from a trusted brand that'll, ri that'll arrive next spring and starts at $40,000 for the commercially oriented base model, while the fancier XLT, the, what it expects most customers to buy, will start at $53,000. Now that's all before federal and state tax incentives. The F-150 is potentially cheaper than its gas counterpart in certain trim levels. And because it gets that federal and that state tax incentive, that's something that Tesla and GM just don't have anymore. They don't have access to that. So if you buy a, you know, the Hummer or if you buy the Cybertruck, you're not getting any sort of federal tax incentive discount. With the F-150, you do. So what do you get for all that cash? Well, for starters, you get either 230 or 300 miles of range from the standard or extended range batteries. These are targets now. They could be a little bit higher, they could be a little bit lower, but that's what Ford is putting out today. Both batteries support DC fast charging up to 150 kilowatts. Now that's not as quick as let's say 300, 350 from an 800 volt architecture. Ford's using a 400 volt architecture, but it should be plenty for most people since, well, most of us charge our EVs in our homes at night. Ford states that within 10 minutes of one of these chargers, the standard range battery will get about 41 miles of range, while the extended range battery will get 54 miles of range. That's, you know, 10 minutes you plug in and you get 50 miles of range. Now both come with an optional 48 amp Ford connected charger station for your home. They also, you know, they come with the one, you know, that cable that you can plug in at your home, the, the mobile charger. But if you get the extended range battery, it ships with an 80 amp Ford Charging Station Pro that can be used to power your home from your truck during blackouts. Now this is huge if you live anywhere where the power goes out because of inclement weather or if you live in California where the power goes out because the utility companies don't want to start fires. Now that's the standard piece of hardware if you get that larger battery size. Now you'll still have to hire an electrician to install it unless you're an electrician, good for you. But Ford says the system can power your home for up to 10 days if you ration your usage. So you can actually say goodbye to rolling blackouts as long as you don't have you know everything running all at once. If you need power on the go, the truck also has power outlets for on the go needs. The standard truck outputs 2.4 kilowatts to outlets, the kind you have in your house, you can plug things in. Now that's enough to power some power tools, while the Lariat and Platinum trim levels of the truck output 9.6 kilowatts of power, which can power up pretty much anything. If you wanna saw some stuff, if you wanna watch TV, anything you wanna do, <laughs> You can pretty much plug into this truck except maybe, I don't know, run an electric dryer. Now, if you want to roll with your crew, you'll have plenty of room because standard on these trucks is the four-door super crew body. That means four doors, five people, no problem. It also has a standard 5.5-foot bed, which is, you know, pretty typical in the truck world. Plus, all variants have four-wheel drive standard from dual motors, one in the front, one in the back, running each of them running two wheels. Both battery sizes output 775 pound feet of torque, electric torque. You can't, you can't beat it, except for maybe a diesel. While the standard battery pushes out 426 horsepower, while the extended 
battery pushes out 563 horsepower. Now hauling stuff should be a snap with the standard battery capable of handling 2,000 pounds of payload, while the extended range battery can only handle 1,800 pounds of payload. Now that sort of backwards number where the extended battery hauls less is likely because the extended battery weighs more. So you're adding more weight to the truck in order to get that extra range, which means you're trading off. You're trading off you know, weight for range versus weight for dragging things home from, from Home Depot. If you're towing though, you'll be happy that the standard battery can drag 7,700 pounds while the extended range battery can tow up to 10,000 pounds. So if you need to haul a big boat somewhere or a fifth wheel, you're good to go. Now, hauling and towing will take a huge toll on your battery range, but Ford has anticipated this. The bed of the truck has sensors underneath it to tell you how much you're loading. It'll actually, in the cab of a truck, tell you, you know, you have 400 pounds, 600 pounds, 1,000 pounds in your bed, which is pretty cool. The XLT model is essentially the base little consumer version of the F-150 Lightning. That starts at $53,000. Um, and it has all the accoutrements that people want from a new nice truck, but there are trim levels above it. There, are, there is the Lariat and the premium trim levels. These are the same trim levels you would find on your traditional F-150 gas-powered vehicle. Um, outside of driving tech, Ford's electric F-150 supports over-the-air updates, which is nice. Finally, companies are properly catching up to Tesla on this front. Ford has its own advanced driver's assistance system called Blue Cruise. It's like GM Super Cruise in that it's hands-free and it works on select highways. Um, I haven't had a chance to check it out, but if it's as nice as Super Cruise, four drivers should be happy while they're cruising down the freeway. And finally, there's that giant front frunk. It's enormous. It has two USB ports, four electrical outlets like the ones in your home, and it, is, it has a drainable floor for easy cleaning or to be filled with ice and maybe a whole lot of shrimp. Ford also made sure to make the opening of the frunk like the opening of a trunk of a sedan where it has that sort of carve out so you don't have to lift things up and over the grill. The grill lifts up, you can put things in. It's much easier to get things in and out of the frunk. And, and with all that, it's pretty much just looks like a regular F-150 with you know, a little bit of flair to make it look electric. Now there's no space age design that makes it difficult to reach over the sides into the bed like the uh, Cybertruck. There are no shiny metal panels that can't be painted. You can actually get this in multiple colors. And of course there's none of the baggage that comes from buying from a startup. You know, some of these startups, they might sell you a vehicle and then in a few years they might go out of business and then where are you at? With, it's Ford, it, they're not going anywhere. If you're ready to ride the Lightning, Ford will let you make a $100 deposit right now to reserve your very own future of electric trucks. A future that's based on decades of building the number one vehicle in America and four decades, over four decades of building the number one truck in America. Ford knows what it's doing. Let's see if it can translate all that into a truck. It'll be here next spring. And for now, uh, we just, you know, we're waiting with bated breath before we get time behind the wheel. If you want to keep up with the latest transportation news, reviews, and bad hot takes, be sure to like, subscribe, and tell your friends about Roll. The money I make here will buy fancy treats for Nico. Look at her. She's so sweet. You're taking money and food out of her mouth if you don't like and subscribe. I'm not above making you feel bad for not liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching.